Thanks to the retractable roof at American Family Field, Brewers fans know that they will be able to see 81 games as scheduled in Milwaukee every regular season. To see a doubleheader, though, they'd have to head to Chicago, but not necessarily for two Cubs games or two White Sox contests. Tim Van Voren goes beyond the game tonight. Going to a game at Wrigley Field was definitely on my bucket list. Legendary Chicago Cub Ernie Banks is revered for his Hall of Fame talent, but is best remembered for his line, it's a beautiful day for baseball, let's play two. A few times a year, a fan in the Windy City can say, it's a beautiful day for baseball, let's see two in two different places. Wrigley Field for the Cubs against the Atlanta Braves. The ballpark and the surrounding area come to life in a rhythm. One aspect of that surrounding area is the Addison Street stop for the Chicago Transit Authority's red line, elevated rapid transit route. That's the coming and going point for many fans. We took the L from the airport yesterday, and now we took the L to the game. Okay. It was just pure Chicago magic. It's very warm in this time of the year, but it's good. The sun's shining, the beers are flying, the boys are buzzing. The train's running. It's Go a beautiful Braves. day. The Addison Street Station is the intersection of commerce and baseball fandom. I couldn't say no to the jersey at 50% at off. I think that was a great deal at 50%. That's pretty good. And you're rocking it. I mean, you got to own whatever you're wearing, right? I'm actually a Boston Red Sox fan, but I got to wear the jersey because it was, it was it's a cool and black matches with everything. The station is also about 45 minutes rail time from where Chicago's American League team plays in the evening. How often have you done this? Just the, the red light double header? This is the first time. Yeah. My aunt just got married and she got married to a White Sox fan. So there we go. We might have to make a trip the other way and bring them, huh? Would you be like a double header guy if you could fit it in on one day? I would. I, I've thought of that before, but to be honest with you, I think the White Sox got an ugly ballpark and this by far is much nicer than the, what, what the, whatever the White Sox call their ugly ballpark. Are you, are you going to the Sox game? Yeah, we're going. That's where we're going, yeah. too. Oh, you're going, too? We're, we're doing the same thing. Oh, man, it's, I mean, Ooh, it's when they offer it, man, you got to you gotta do it, yeah. Plenty of fans are more than willing to compare aesthetics by making the ride from the north side of the city to the south side. The White Sox will host the Orioles. There's actually a lot more people that were coming to the doubleheader than we thought were, so, yeah. yeah. Have you done it before your Chicago Never. people? No. Never. Never. Was it like a bucket list thing or just yeah. kind of material? Bucket, bucket list, bucket yeah. list thing, yeah. 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 If you think about it, New York's in two different islands and LA's in two different towns with the Angels and Dodgers. So here you have two, t you have two teams that are literally inside the same city. The L is where you'll find fans like Mike from Elkhorn and Rachel from Brookfield wearing a brewer's hat and glasses. Interesting people on, on board, but it, it's really nice. We didn't have to worry about parking and Dropped us right off at the stadium, so that was nice. That was a nice thing about it. The 35th Street stop is steps from Guaranteed Rate Field. The surrounding area and ballpark offer a much different vibe than Wrigleyville. The contrast is the charm. And how are you guys getting home after this? Over. Over. <laughs> <laughs> this is 2024, and that sentiment makes sense after a full day of baseball. But if you're going to commit to the combo, there's really only one way to close out the red line doubleheader. In Chicago, to Denver, Fox 6 Sports. What a perfect day for that, too, right? Now, there is one more potential red line doubleheader on the schedule for this season, June 19th, with the Cubs hosting the Giants in the afternoon and the White Sox entertaining the Astros that very same night.